All right, there's 99 fire making. So I have officially done at Winter Tot. I do have some crates banked. That'll be cool. Sorry, it's been a while um, since I've uploaded or anything. I haven't really been playing the game much because I moved and started a new job. And so I've been really busy with that stuff. But I'm going to open these crates real quick and see what we get. I got everything except for the axe. I finished the pyro set around 92 and I got Toma Fire at 98. I got the pet like two years ago, but if I remember correctly, it was like 75 or 76 fire making. I got that super early. Um, next up though, I'm going to be getting some combat stats and working towards basically, I guess you could say, unlocking agility. Um, and then I'm going to bang out 70. I'm just going to go ahead and bang out 70 agility. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just go from there. Okay, and there's the loot from my pyro sets. That's kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Not too worried about it. So here's all the supplies I got from doing 70 mining and then finishing up 99 fire making at Winter Taunt. Um, like I said before, I'm about to go pretty much unlock agility by getting some combat stats and then going and doing... Um, Oh, for shit's sake. I can't remember what that quest is. The Taurus Trap. Yeah, the Taurus Trap. Alright, so I know in my last video I said it would be like a month or so before I came back, and now it's been four as of the time recording this. Um, I kind of took a break from the game for a while. I think killing off the group iron kind of kind of just killed my motivation or whatever, but we're back. We're having fun. Um, I got 60 agility in my full graceful set. I got the rogue outfit yesterday. I finished a 99 fire making at Winter Tot boring stuff right now i'm working on getting the rd medium diary done so that i can do a nice 99 thieving grind and that way i'll have like a good 15 mil cash stack to dump into kingdom and construction xp so yeah that's where we're at it's fucking good to be back oh my god no way dude i got the fish barrel yes dude Oh my god, that took 400 KC on my group iron. <gasps> no way. No way. Dude, yes. I'm so spooned. Ba fish barrel and tome of water in 62 kill count at Temperos. Oh my god. So I decided to take a little detour from working on the RD medium diary requirements and... You know, I've been playing leagues kind of on and off, just switching between that and the main game. Um, but I decided to do Temporos over the last couple of days, and, and, well, I got the fish barrel and tome, so I guess I'm leaving, because I don't really have anything else here that I really want. I mean, the tackle box is kind of nice, and Dragon Harpoon would be kind of nice, but neither of those things are really all that high on the priority list, so I guess it's back to uh, questing and unlocking some more teleports and stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm going for Rune Pouch at the moment and just got my first win at LMS on the Hardcore. Um, I'm pretty sure there was only one real person in that entire lobby and they were my first fight. So uh, yeah, I think that just goes to show the uh, state of things at LMS right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good fight. Something like, come on. Oh, he's learning everything.
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and there's the room pouch unlocked. Jesus. No? Okay, one point. It's one point. I need one point. God. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. All right. There's the room pouch. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. We got the room pouch. Let's go. Alright, so I've got a lot of questing going on this morning. I just did Demon Slayer and Lost Tribe. I'm about to do the dig site, as you can see um, by the quest helper. I'm trying to do Bone Voyage. I don't know if I'll have the 100 Museum Kudos or not after this, but I should. And hopefully I'll be getting Birdhouse's Ruby Teleport Jewelry and Ultra Compost unlocked, like, today. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. All right, dig site's done. Now I gotta go talk to this butthole at the Verot Museum and see if I can uh, do Bone Voyage. Only 53 kudos, man. Dang it! Okay, so now I have 100 museum kudos, and I do actually have to come back and do more specimen cleaning <coughs> because that's how you unlock the uh, ruby jewelry enchant. Unfortunately, I can't go do Bone Voyage right now because I gotta go get ready for work, but I'll be doing some either Temporos or Guardians of the Rift on mobile while I'm working today and see if I can get some good stuff. But yeah, I'll be doing Bone Voyage tonight. All right, there's Bone Voyage done. I can do birdhouse runs and make ultra compost now. Let's go. All right, so I did Death to the Dorgashun, and now I'm starting some Slayer, but I'm just going for 18 for right now so that I can do Animal Magnetism, and then I need to do the quest to unlock the Ectophile. After that, I'll have pretty much all of my like more important early game teleports, and then um, the Hunter grind begins. I'm going to go for 83 Hunter for Dragon Implings to get my Amulet of Glory. That's what I did on the Group Iron. It didn't take too long, although I'm not the biggest fan of Hunter. After that, I'm going to get some prayer levels for, you know, my, my protection prayers and then do Dragon Slayer and Monkey Madness 1. And I know earlier in the video, I said that my main focus was going to be um, getting the RD Medium Diary done. Um, and part of that is, you know, getting fairy rings unlocked and, and a few quests and all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's part of all of this is leading to me doing RD Medium Diary. You guys, you guys that, that watch this shit, you guys know how, how Iron Man goes. You set a goal for something and then you go on a month-long adventure doing a bunch of other shit that leads up to that main goal that you were going for. It's, you know how it is. All right, so I did Ghost Ahoy last night, and now I'm starting Birdhouse Runs. Well, I've gotten bird, 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 Birdhouse Runs started. Um, and now I just need 31 prayers so I can make a um, holy symbol for animal magnetism. I also just realized that I hit 45 well, 46 farming last night on mobile while I was at work, so I can go to the farming guild now and get my first farming contract, although that's kind of a long run, so I think I should get um, fairy rings unlocked first. I just need 49 farming and, what is it, 57 herbal ore? I can't remember. But, at the moment, I'm working on getting these uh, willow branches for Enlightened Journey. So, and here's the uh, Enchanted Jewelry slash Teleportation tab. Um, as you can see, like, it's not a whole lot right now, but it is, like, all the more important teleports that I need right now, aside from Fairy Rings. But once I have Fairy Rings unlocked, that's pretty much the whole map unlocked, so, yeah. Alright, there's 31 Prayer, so now I can go make my Holy Symbol, well, bless my Holy Symbol and do Animal Magnetism. 
I would just like to say that getting the uh, Ectophile before doing Animal Magnetism was a 10 out of 10, 200,000 IQ genius idea. Because I know you have to come back here like twice, maybe three times. And this just makes it so convenient. Oh my god! Alright, there's Animal Magnetism done. Easy peasy. Now I can wear this cute little backpack and save some ammo. I need a few more uh, range levels before I can wear the, the good one. The accumulator, yeah. Alright, all that LMS has officially paid off. I have my rune pouch. I bought a bunch of chaos runes for magic levels at Blue Dragons. And I just bought my can and how exciting. Alright, so while I was at work today, I got 46 prayer. I really just wanted to get 45 for Mystic Might, but I overshot a little bit. So we have really a retribution now, but it's time to do Monkey Madness. Oh yeah, by the way, I am still working on getting Fairy Rings unlocked, but the only problem I have is I need 57 Herbalore and I'm only 42 at the moment and I'm pretty much out of everything. But if I do Legends Quest, I can dump 120k experience into Herbalore and that might get me there. I haven't looked at an XP table or anything. But it might get me there. If not, I figure right now, anyways, I'll just go ahead and do Monkey Madness, get Dragon Slayer done, work on getting Heroes Quest and the rest of the uh, Legends Quest requirements, and just kind of go from there. And, you know, maybe I'll run into some herb XP in the meantime. Oh, man, I brought the 200k to do the puzzle because that's what I used to do back in the day, but I totally forgot about the, uh, the Runelight plug-in for this. Oh, man. Easy game. <laughs> A million clicks later, Jesus. Alright, there's Monkey Madness 1 done. Uh, surprisingly, the Bone Crossbow kind of shredded the Jungle Demon. I'm only 51 range, but anyways, gonna grab the training from Darrow and go do Dragon Slayer 1. Alright, so the training got me 49 attack, 40 strength, 39 defense, 54 HP. Let's go kill a dragon. My good buddy Stu lost his hardcore status here, a little fun fact. Um, so yeah, it's time to, I'm, I'm gonna get revenge for him. Ow. This bitch. Alright, there we go. Alright, there's Dragon Slayer 1 done. Good stuff. Now I need to make some GP to get rune gear, but I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Alright, so this video is getting a little long for my taste, so I'm going to call it here. I'm just going to hang out for a little bit and make some more teleport jewelry because I'm running a bit low. Next time I'll be getting 57 herbal ore and doing a bunch of questing, getting some diaries done, maybe banging out another 99. Who knows? Either way, we got some fun stuff going on over here. It's good to be back, and thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.